Hello, and welcome to Luna Yes Guided Sleep Meditations. In a world that changes by the minute, at a time when the speed of life is dizzying, it can be difficult to know which way to turn, to trust in our intuition. We rely more and more on celebrities or social media to guide us, informing opinions, by reinforcing our ideas, and relying on unproven advice from a person that we've often never even met. But what if there were someone else that we could rely on? What if the universe itself could guide us, could help us to make the right choices? Many cultures all over the world believe that, in fact, the universe is trying to point us in the right direction. Whether you choose to call them spirit guides, signs, cosmic interference, or even just gut instincts, this practice will teach you to connect with them, to improve your listening skills, and open your minds to messages and blessings from your spirit guides. We'll begin by quieting our minds and bodies, moving into a deeply relaxed state, readying ourselves for guidance from the universe. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this journey and take a moment to remind you that because this meditation will guide you into a state of deep relaxation, you should only listen to it in a place where you feel safe and secure and at a time when it's safe for you to relax completely or even to fall asleep. Please don't listen to this guided meditation while driving or doing any other tasks that require you to be alert. We'll begin by eliminating any distractions from the space. Turn off the lights, or just dim them if you're uncomfortable being totally in the dark. And if you can, I'd like you to place your device where you can hear but not see it, or where the light from the screen won't distract you at all. Get into a comfortable position. You can choose to sit up for this meditation with your feet gently resting on the floor and your hands in your lap or at your sides. Or you can lie down on the bed if you prefer. Just lie back with your head and spine aligned, your legs out long, and arms relaxed beside you or resting on your stomach with your fingers lightly closed. Relax and breathe gently and allow my voice to guide you. If at any point during the meditation you begin to feel tired, please just keep yourself open to suggestions and let yourself slide into sleep as it happens without trying to remain awake until the end of the practice. You can begin with your eyes open if you prefer or close them. Breathe in deeply through your nose and release the breath slowly through your mouth. And again, inhale deeply through your nose, filling your chest and belly and sighing the breath out. Once more. Inhale slowly and deeply through your nose, feeling the breath traveling through your body, filling you completely. And exhale fully and slowly out of your mouth. Let's take a moment now to check in with our bodies and release any tension that is built up over the day, beginning at our feet and moving upward. On your next breath in, we'll begin by squeezing and curling our toes tightly, holding our breath for a count of five and releasing your toes as you exhale. Moving to your feet, clench them tightly as you inhale and 
hold your breath for one, two, three, four, five, and then release. Next, tighten the muscles in your calves. Keep them tight as you hold the breath in. And then breathe out, releasing them. Check in with your knees, bringing awareness and energy there for a count of five. Moving up now to the thighs, squeeze as you breathe in and hold the breath for one, two, three, four, five, and relax as you breathe out. Inhale again now, squeezing your fingers and clenching your fists. Hold it for five. And exhale, release your fingers to rest comfortably once again on your lap or by your sides. Next, tighten the muscles in your arms, your forearms, biceps and triceps. Tightening them as you breathe in and hold. And allowing them to relax as you exhale. As you inhale again, tighten the muscles in your abdomen, squeezing the stomach, holding it for one, two, three, four, five, and then exhaling. Breathe in, clenching your jaw and frowning, tightening and squeezing all the muscles in your face. Hold it for just a moment. Now breathe out slowly and release. And now we'll take one more long, slow breath in tensing all the muscles at once. Hold the breath in for one, two, three, four, five, and breathe out while relaxing softly back. Take a moment to check in with your body. Seek out the places where you might still be clenching and holding on to any tension. And send your breath to those little pockets of tension. Inhaling energy and light. And exhaling to relax them. We want to release all of the tension and nervous energy in our bodies so that we can tune into the energies in our chakra centers, aligning our physical and spiritual bodies and opening ourselves to messages from the universe, from our spirit guides. And we're going to focus now on our breath, opening our chests, rolling the shoulder blades down and back, Feel the way your breath flows, easily and naturally. Feel it entering your nose, fresh and cool. Feel it passing through your throat and into your lungs, warming up as the air passes into your body and traveling back up and out. If you haven't already done so, I'd like you to allow your eyes to gently drift close now as you begin to deepen your breathing. As you inhale, breathe in the calm, loving light of the universe around you. Hold the breath, feeling the energy expand within you. And breathe out relaxing even further. 
As you inhale, begin counting down from 10. Exhale, 9. Inhale, 8. Exhale, 7. Inhale, 6. Exhale, 5. Inhale, 4. Exhale, 3. Inhale, 2. Exhale, 1. Inhale, and we arrive together at 0 on the exhale. Go ahead and repeat this countdown on your own. If you find your thoughts wandering as you breathe, that's all right. Just take a moment to acknowledge each one. You can determine whether these thoughts might be worries, or judgments, or plans, and then file them away to handle it another time, and return your focus to your breath. If you need to, you can begin counting again at 10, and make your way down to zero once again. Allow your breathing to soften and to fall into a gentle, natural rhythm. And take a moment to just listen to your breath. If your body begins to intrude on your awareness, If you're itchy or achy somewhere, if you feel the need to shift into another position, take a moment to acknowledge that, to correct it, and let it go, returning, as always, to the breath. And as you breathe, softly and peacefully, I'd like you to connect to the energy in the room, in the universe around you. Visualize it as a warm light surrounding you, like a firelight. It encompasses your entire body, fusing with you, growing as you inhale, and contracting into a glowing ball as you exhale. This glowing light This universal energy dances closer before entering your body, down at the base of your spine, where a dull red crystal sits within you. And as the light touches the crystal, it begins to glow, the energy cleansing and strengthening your base, your root chakra your connection to the earth. And as you breathe here, the crystal of your chakra adds a red tinge to the glowing light moving upward within you, seeking out the dark orange crystal just beneath your belly button, your sacral chakra, the seat of your creativity of your sensuality 
feeds off the glow, brightening as the universal energy cleanses and aligns your own spiritual energies. As the glow moves higher yet, a sliver of orange light twinkles within it. Just below your rib cage, the light touches on your solar plexus chakra. This center is particularly important. This is the seat of your personal power, the source of all your gut feelings, your intuitions, your sense of wisdom. It's through this particular chakra center that we most often receive messages from our spirit guides. Allow the glowing orb to linger here, coloring the dull amber crystal with its pulsating light, cleansing the chakra and filling it with universal energy. As the crystal fills with the light, a little of the now brilliant yellow glow melts with the warm ball of light, moving steadily upward toward the center of your chest. Here it meets with the heart chakra. At the moment, a dull and darkish green glass ball. But as you continue to breathe, the glowing energies of the universe, combined with the light from your lower chakras, seep into your heart chakra, the center where your emotional and physical selves merge, and the doorway to your higher chakras, your spiritual centers. The green crystal now glows brightly a thread of its light combining with the others within the golden sphere and moving up yet again. As the light reaches your throat chakra, it shines upon a dull blue orb that governs the area, controlling how we communicate and express ourselves. As you breathe in, Sending the universal energy into your chakra, search for your truth and envision it moving toward the universe. See the blue orb glowing more and more brightly, becoming almost turquoise before a sliver of its light returns to the warm ball of universal energy within you. The light rises to your forehead, coming to rest between your eyebrows at the seat of your intuition and insight. Another important center, this third eye chakra, this source of psychic energy, of almost extrasensory perception connection between your mind and the spiritual world, a place from which to send and receive messages from the universe and your spirit guides. The dull indigo crystal here, fed by the glow of universal energy, begins to shine a brilliant purplish blue, sending a ribbon of light back into the shimmering orb, which moves one final time, reaching up and coming to rest at the crown of your head, your crown chakra, the embodiment of your spiritual self. The crystal here is dingy and clouded until it's touched by the light of the universe and the energies of your chakras, and a violet tinge begins to glow in its depths. 
As you continue to breathe gently, the light grows brighter and the crystal clears, becoming filled with a shimmering opalescent violet energy which radiates back into the glowing orb of energy. Not only that of the universe now, but combined with your own energies, moving back out into the universe, opening the channels of communication, and leaving you ready to receive any messages from your spirit guides. Breathing softly, visualize yourself walking down a long corridor. You are heading to your special place, a safe spot where you can be open and await the answers you seek from the universe. The hallway can be enclosed, or perhaps it has windows looking out upon the landscape. It could even be open, like an ancient colonnade. As you walk along, focus only on the sounds of your breathing and of your footsteps echoing along the walkway. With each step, your physical body fades further and further away. You may travel a long path down this corridor, here in a place where time has no meaning, because you know that however long the journey may take, at the end of your walk, you will reach the place where your spirit guides await you, where the channels of communication will be open, and where you can connect to the universe, seeking answers and ready for any signs or messages. Before you open the door ahead and enter this safe and sacred space, take a moment, a quiet moment, to set an intention to connect only to the purest divine energy filled with love and light. Here where spirit guides or guardian angels are able to watch over you. When they and you are ready, they may reveal themselves to you, allowing you to see their shapes, whether human or animal, and giving you their names. As you enter your sacred space, I'd like you to first look around you and notice the room and everything in it. You can fill this space with anything you choose or even with nothing at all. It might simply be a large open space with light colored walls. Perhaps there are windows, or maybe not. There could be furniture, storage cabinets, desks or drawers that hold mementos or other things you cherish. Maybe a bench, some chairs or cushions to sit on, perhaps a bed. In fact, this room can change, it can become whatever you need, whenever you need it.
As you become familiar with the room, you can see bright light emanating from within. It may be a single light source or a group of dancing lights. Sensing your presence, your energy, your quiet curiosity, the light approaches you. Feel free to ask this spirit for its name and open your heart and mind for an answer. You may receive the understanding of a name, but you also might not at this time. That's fine as well. I'd like you to notice any emotions, any feelings or sensations that you may be experiencing now as you interact with your guide. Perhaps a physical sensation, a tingling, or a rush of energy, or maybe even a sense of absolute calm, of peace and quiet. Reach out with all your senses. Your spirit guide will not always answer you with words. So be open to visual messages, sensations, and even scents or tastes in addition to sound. Take a few moments now to meditate on that which you seek, on the questions you have for your spirit guides, and breathe quietly opening your heart and mind to their answers, to their teachings, and to any messages they have for you. Feel free to ask your guide any question you'd like, trusting that you'll receive an answer, that a message of some kind will find its way to you. You may be at a point in your life when you'd like a little bit of guidance about the right path for you. Or you may be unsure of your career path. Perhaps just feel stuck in a rut and wondering how to break free. Whatever dilemma you may be facing, know that you can ask your spirit guide for advice. If you don't have a particular question today, you may simply choose to ask if your guide has any particular message or advice for you today. Is there something important that you need to know today? Any particular guidance to help you move forward on your life path? As you silently communicate your questions, as you describe what you'd like to know, or as you share your concerns with your guide, remember your intention for this practice. Remember that you are surrounded by pure, loving, and positive energy here in your very own sacred space and know that you can trust in your guide. You can take the time to connect with each of the beings of light that are here one by one if you choose. Connect to their energy. 
And as you breathe softly, allow that loving energy, that bright light to take a shape. Your guide may take a human form, or they may choose an animal body. If you feel comfortable, you may wish to reach out toward your spirit guide. Maybe taking their hand or placing your hand on their body. Or perhaps you're satisfied to just be in their presence, communicating silently, absorbing their love and guidance. that you've set your intentions, that you've asked your questions, that you've placed your trust in your spirit guide, I'd like you to once again, using all your senses, both physical and spiritual, sitting or lying here in this relaxed state connecting in this special space that exists only for you, I'd like you to just listen. Clear your mind, allowing any thoughts that you may have to be released away on the breath and just be still. Remain in the moment and be patient. You may receive the answer you're seeking quickly, or it might take some time. And you may not get the answer you're expecting or hoping for. Whatever the message is that you receive, whatever you experience, or understand, whatever you feel, I'd like you to simply accept it for what it is, whether it makes sense to you or not. And if you're new to this type of practice, It may take some time for the meaning of the message to become clear to you, to make its way from your subconscious to your awareness. Remember that you can repeat this practice 
as often as you wish. Returning here, following the corridor to this sacred space. Whenever you feel in need of guidance, If you meditate during the day and have questions for your guide, you may wish to keep a notebook and pen handy. Many practitioners like to free write following their meditation. Putting pen to paper and just allowing whatever wishes to, to travel through you and flow onto the page without thought and without judgment for five minutes or so. Reading through it afterward to sift out any signs or messages from your guide. It's nearly time to leave this space for now, knowing that you can always return for more advice. Take a moment now for a breath of gratitude and appreciation for the guidance and support you've been given. And whenever you are ready to leave, your spirit guides will accompany you as you travel back to the hallway, ready to bid you goodbye, to watch over you, sending signs and signals to you daily, waiting here to offer you further guidance whenever you might need it. As you step back into the corridor, darkness rises around you and twinkling stars blink into light, swirling around you as you walk, keeping your entire focus now on the sound of your footsteps, on the sight of the sparkling stars around you on the sensations in your toes, in your fingers, and all through you as you make your way back through the hallway, back to your body, back to your breath. Breathe in gently now, hold your breath, and release it slowly. Inhale again, 
hold it and exhale. Continue breathing in this way, inhaling slowly, filling your lungs with warm, sweet air, holding it as you count slowly, two, three, four, five, and releasing slowly out your mouth like a balloon deflating emptying all the air from your body before inhaling slowly once again. Breathe slowly and deeply, relishing the connection you've shared with the universe and with your spirit guides. Take a moment to just be grateful for the time they spent with you, for the messages they've shared, for the guidance they've provided. Enjoy the feelings of the energy flowing through you, of your mind and body becoming ever more balanced, and of the sense of calm, peace, and tranquility it brings you. When you're ready, we'll begin to prepare for sleep, relaxing even further and allowing your breathing to return gradually to its natural rhythm, soft and gentle. If you've been seated throughout the meditation, it's time to lie down comfortably and prepare to fall asleep. Cover yourself with a light blanket if you're chilly. And just rest here for now. Safe and warm as sleep rises up to meet you. And you're quite relaxed now, feeling nearly ready to drift off to sleep. Feel yourself sinking comfortably into the bed. Feel the mattress rising up to cradle you warming you and filling you with a sense of calm, of release, of peace. You're ready for a deep, peaceful rest so that you wake up refreshed and restored. Ready for a new day. Now, as we prepare for sleep, I'd like you to let your breathing slow and return to its natural rhythm. And we'll drift off to sleep by counting our breaths. If you happen to lose count, don't worry, just start again at one. 
And if you make it all the way to 100 before you fall asleep, you can just keep on counting if you'd like, or begin again at 1. When you're ready, let's begin. Inhaling, 1, and exhaling, 2, inhaling, 3, and exhaling, 4, breathe in, 5, and out, 6, again, 7, and breathe out, 8, If your mind begins to wander as you drift off, just acknowledge and classify the thoughts, filing them away to deal with later. Return your focus to the gentle rise and fall of your breath and continue counting down to sleep. Keep your awareness only on your breathing, only on your count now, as you drift off to a deep, relaxing sleep, ready to wake up refreshed and energized. Breathing softly and slowly. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing gently and easily. Inhaling and exhaling. Just breathing.
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Thanks again for joining me for this meditation and good night. For more Luna Yes guided sleep meditations, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.